check this. Here we go. What is goody, everybody? Uh, about to help my boy Yeffrey basically set up his uh, ledger. We're going to get that set up. Um, and the reason why um, I'm recording it is because I want to help some persons set up the ledger when it comes to setting up their ledger. Because a lot of persons don't know how to set up their ledger. And a ledger is one of the safest ways to actually store your crypto, right? Family with my guy. Yeah, free. We're about to get him set up with his uh, crypto wallet. You know, the best way to store your crypto, of course, is in a cold wallet. Wallet. The wallet we got is a ledger. I'm basically going to be setting that up with him. Shit's crazy. Eating some uh, chip pole. I think he has uh, royalties in that. <laughs> Instructions inside. Yeah, bro. Oh, damn. Okay, wow. But I thought I need a bank account or some shit like that. If there's some weird shit in here, bro. <laughs> oh, damn. You thought it was a prank? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is nice. Yes, yeah, sir. You still gotta get the rest of the content out of the box, though. Oh, no. uh, okay, okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. So that string is what you put on your ledger to uh, basically, you know, hold it. It's like a keychain for your ledger. So let's go through the instructions. <laughs> Listen, this is some good food, family. Honestly, my boy got the best plate. I didn't know we could have got all that. <laughs> but that's a hefty plate, man. That's a huge plate. Huge, huge plate. Um, but yeah, this is some nice food. Uh, my plate doesn't look as big. I ate some of the shit. My guy's eating heavy. Uh, so what we're doing right now, we're just heading over to the website to get started. It's uh, going to walk you through everything that you need to know when it comes with um, basically setting up your whole uh, ledger. Now, when it comes to storing your crypto, there are two kinds of wallets. You have a hot wallet and you have a cold wallet. A hot wallet would be like an app like Binance or Coinbase or... Uh, another example of one is uh, crypto.com and the cold wallet is a wallet that's always offline like the ledger it is always offline and it cannot be hacked it's very harder for it to be hacked um, I haven't heard of anyone's being hacked so far but uh, yeah so you just want to have a cold wallet it's much better and uh, IRS can't seize your crypto right once it's inside once it's inside there so um, yeah Right here we at, we downloaded the Ledger Live app. Now we're just following the instructions. Uh, so we just gotta check those box. Check those box, enter Ledger app. Then you click Nano S, cause that's the one you have. Yes yeah, sir. First time using Nano S. So you click that on the top, set up a new Nano S. Mm -hmm. Now, what you're gonna do is make sure you read that. Then you press the next when you're done. On a private key. Yep. That's going to give you that. That's what you're going to be writing on the paper. Your recovery phase. Stay offline. This is important because it's a cold storage like I mentioned earlier. Validate transactions. Ledger Live allows you to buy, sell, manage, exchange, and earn crypto while remaining protected. Let's do it. Now, the best way to get started, plan 30 minutes, all right, we got all this. So click OK, I'm ready to get started. Make sure you follow instructions on this app every step of the process, yes sir. Now, turn on your Nano, you gotta grab your ledger. Open it up, bro. So look at the instructions on the screen, it shows you how to turn on your ledger. You see the two buttons? Right there. Gotta hold them down. But you gotta plug it in. You gotta plug it in first. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Now, look at the front. Alright, says welcome to the legend. Mm hmm. You see how it says to change the. Look, it tells you what to do. Next. This goes back. Previous. Press 2 to confirm. Yep. Press. You see what it says? Read instruction. It says now. Press both to validate. Yep. So I have to press both buttons at the same time. Did it's not me. Hmm. Let me see. I'll go back. Yeah. Now press both buttons. All right. What is actually gonna do now? Choose pin. Yeah. Now put in your password. What do I click? Though? So. All right, family, once you get done setting up your pin code, you're going to have to confirm it again. Then it's going to take you on to the next steps. All right. <clears throat> now, after all of that, it's going to give you your 24 key phrase. Yep. So press the back arrow. I mean, the right arrow. Yeah. It's giving you the code, right? It says. If I click the right arrow. Yep. Press the right arrow. Oh, no. Go back. Get it 24 words, yeah. Press two. Press your two buttons. So choose a 24 uh, phrase password. And then that's what I have to write. Write, write down, yeah. Write down now. So you're going to have to write it down in the order that they gave you it, right? You need to write down the phrase they gave you an order. You need to write down the phrase they gave you an order they give you it because they're going to have to put this in if you ever lose your ledger, right? Because that's the only way you could access your funds. And if you don't have this, man, all the crypto is gone, buddy. <laughs> God, the bank, no one can help you unless God. So do I write the first word here or on there? You write it on, wait, write it where? Enter word one. Yeah. So write it here first. Yeah. Uh, Alrighty, so my guy has um, already got his uh, own setup. What we're now doing is going to basically walk you all and him through the next steps, right? So we see this right there. Your pin is the first layer of security. It physically secures access to your private key in your nano your pin code must be for they did as long press um i understand and uh, what's going to happen now is we already did that so just click that Sorry. yeah just skip that then click next step recovery phrase i understand so you all will just have to read this before you continue on your nano device next step next step and it's going to be hide your recovery phrase Let's go. Okay, I'm done. Of course, never share it with anyone. Now, game on is going to ask you a quiz to make sure you understand everything. So, let's take the quiz. Now, answer it. I can't help you. Got to make sure you understand. It. Where is your crypto stored? They never tell me this. It's stored on the blockchain. The blockchain is a decentralized uh, platform. The banks don't have access to it. No one have access to it. All right. Click next question. You read it, right? Yeah. My recovery phrase is no longer secure or private. What are you going to do? Second option. Yes, sir. Still offline. Yep. Awesome. Now, next step, genuine check. Just going to check to make sure your uh, ledger is genuine. So press check my nano. Just doing a quick scan. You got to press two buttons on your phone. Yeah. Not in my bad side your phone with your device. Awesome, awesome. Now press continue. Now, what we're going to now do is add account. So click add account. We're going to add a crypto account, Bitcoin. So press choose a crypto asset. Click Bitcoin. And so obviously, you're going to be holding on this. Continue. You're going to do to your device. You're going to have to accept it on that. Open manager. Click open manager. 
Oh yes, we have to first get it from here. My bad, we skipped a step. So you gotta go to the manager to be able to get access to it. So right there where it says uh, Bitcoin, click install. Yep, scroll down a bit. The next one that you're gonna be getting scrolled up. Okay, get Bitcoin Cash. Now click this. No, where it says Bitcoin, yeah. Click in that box. Okay, erase that. Now scroll down. So get ADA as well. ADA, yeah, right there. Install. And scroll down where it says XRP. Oh, not enough storage. Okay, what we're going to do is delete uh, Bitcoin Cash. Scroll back down. See where it says install? Scroll back up. Right there, Bitcoin Cash. In uninstall that. Hmm. Okay, try go to. Hmm. Because XRP is what you need to hold on this device. Scroll down. See if we could find Ethereum. Ethereum. Wow, not enough storage. Okay, what we can do, bro, is delete Bitcoin Cash. Try see if you can go to apps installed. All right, Bitcoin Cash. So what you're gonna do? Uh, yeah, uninstall Bitcoin Cash. Awesome. You should have some space now. Once that is done, then go back to App Catalog. Now, XRP. Install that. Scroll down. All right, that's all you can install on this device. So click apps installed. So the apps you're now going to be, I mean, the crypto you're now going to be holding on this is Bitcoin, ADA, and XRP. Right now, these two are very low. So you're going to be buying a lot of that as much as possible that you could risk. So what you're going to be doing now, click add account for Bitcoin Cash. Click continue. Then it's just going to... Um, select the device of course press the, the two buttons on your device awesome go back I mean like go for it mm -hmm. there we go it's synchronizing go, go on the screen is that what you want it to be named Bitcoin one yeah. all right now press the right button on your device yeah what does it say Okay, so that should be good then. It's probably just synchronizing right now. Click add account. Awesome. Click done. Now what you're going to do, go to accounts, uh, go to manager again. And you're going to click uh, apps installed. Apps installed. Awesome, and you're gonna add an account for XRP. We're just gonna delete ADA for right now. Yeah, delete that. Then click add account for XRP when it is done. Because uh, what I'll do is just let you hold ADA on Binance. Click add account on XRP. Mm -hmm. Go through the same process, continue. Then you're gonna have to accept it on the device. You have to accept it on your uh, manner. Yeah, awesome. Add account done now go back to manage apps manager then click app catalog when it pops up scroll down yeah so get ethereum yeah that'll be the best one holding this your ethereum uh ethereum and uh, Bitcoin then you go to apps installed all right go to apps installed scroll down click add account in Ethereum right here continue
confirm it on your device. All right, click add account. It's done. Now, what you're going to do, bro, is go back to manager and you're gonna update your firmware. Scroll up on top when it pops up. Mm -hmm, update firmware. All right, family, now the next question you may be asking is, right, now that I have that set up, where do I get my Bitcoin address from? Now, the good thing about having a ledger is you can set up multiple accounts and you can have multiple Bitcoin addresses, right? You don't just have one. So let's say you want to have one where, because these are cold wallets, right? So the Bitcoin address never expires. So you could have one on this side here, one for your family here, one for this there, and it just helps. And I'm not saying if you're a scammer, I'm not giving that advice to you. So you're going to have multiple Bitcoin addresses and I want to know it's you. This is not for scammers, right? So I'm playing, but right, well, watch this. I'm gonna show you all something. So what you're now going to do is go to accounts, bro. And you see where it says Bitcoin, click that. Mm -hmm. Now click where it says receive. Now what you're gonna do is click continue and you're gonna have to verify on your device. You're gonna have to open up your Bitcoin app Now, all you gotta do is wait for that to load. I'm not going to basically show the code because it's his address and um, I don't wanna show you all that, but the same address right here, bro, what you wanna do is probably copy it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, probably email it to yourself. Can I just take a picture? Mm, that's a lot of words, bro. You don't wanna get it wrong. So I just say email the whole word. Uh, you already copy it though. So what to do now is make sure it match on your device. So make sure the same address match. What you have to do is it's going to ask you to verify it on your device. You just got to make sure it matches. That's the only thing. Now, just press the right button once you're done to verify it. You know, press all two buttons together. Now, what you're going to do, if you're doing this um, on a Mac device, you could automatically just save it on your notes. But I want you to email each account to yourself and you're going to store it in your notes so now this is when you're sending crypto to your wallet or someone is sending it for you you could just easily go to your notes copy it and send it to them now i'm just going to help my friend set up his own um you all should easily understand it just do this for each crypto asset and put it in your notes be right back all right family so now that you got that set up so come out of that make sure i approve it so you can come out of that once you've already approved all of your uh stuff now what you do is go over to buy or sell click buy or sell Awesome. That's where you would be either um, choosing a provider to buy your crypto or you could be selling your crypto, meaning sell is when you sell a crypto that's inside your wallet and you get money. So only U.S. bank account can buy your crypto. Scroll down again. Coinify is another method that you can use is available in a bunch of different countries. Now, if this method don't work, you can buy Bitcoin using Instacoins or you can set up a crypto application like Coinbase, Coinify, I mean, not Coinify, Cash App. You know, any one of these different exchanges and uh, buy the crypto and then just send it to your address. So, family, that basically covers how to set it for crypto and how to buy it. All right, let's get it.